Hey guys, welcome back to Adobe's Learn From The Pro series. My name is Kevin De La Serna and I'm a video creator based in Cebu, Philippines. We are finally down to our last video in this series and today I will be teaching you how to show off polished custom branded presentations to showcase your work with Frame.io presentations. And without wasting any more time, let's go to Premiere Pro and let's start editing. Now in order to open the Frame.io panel in Premiere Pro, all we have to do is to click this icon to access workspaces, then select the review workspace. Once you're done, the Frame.io panel will automatically open, then click Sign In. It will automatically redirect you to your browser, then just sign in to your Frame.io account. Once you're done, it will automatically sign in in Premiere Pro, and now we can start a new project. Now in order for us to create a new project, all we have to do is to click this icon, then select Add Project. Let's rename this project to Studio Tour, and below we would have all these settings and options to select like collaborator permissions, and email notifications for you and for your team. Just click Create and now we have created a new project. Now what's great about Frame.io's extension in Premiere Pro is we can easily collaborate with our team and as well as our clients all within this panel. As an editor, this helps us out a lot as we can easily see our teams or our clients' comments and make edits right away in our timeline. I will be talking more about this later. One good feature in Frame.io as well is we can add collaborators directly by clicking on this plus icon and adding the email of your collaborator. This is very helpful if you have an assistant editor or a creative director that you need feedback from as you guys can easily collaborate in this panel. As I said earlier, Frame.io is a great collaboration tool as we can also upload our sequences and projects directly from this panel as well as your other team members can also download them to review and also make changes and upload the changes again in their own Frame.io panel. This just makes the overall collaboration process so seamless and it speeds up your team's workflow. As you guys can see, here I have an entire 4K sequence and I want to upload this to Frame.io for my team members to review. All I have to do is to go to the Frame.io panel, click the upload button, and now you can see the different upload options like uploading your current active sequence, upload specific files or bins in your project, as well as upload your entire project file if you have an assistant editor that is working with you on this project. So for now, let's select the active sequence. Here we can see the upload settings and we can rename the sequence to Studio Tour and set the preset to Web 1080p. Now considering that this is a 4K sequence, setting the preset to Web 1080p would compress our 4K sequence down to 1080p so Frame.io could render and upload the sequence faster. Next, we can also set the range to in and out, whole sequence, or work area. But for now, let's select the whole sequence. Once you're done, click the render setting and for now, let's create a custom folder on our desktop. Keep this in mind as this is where you could see your rendered sequence in case you need it. Next, make sure to check Keep Rendered File to keep the rendered file in your folder and check Auto Version to automatically label newer stack versions of your sequence. We will be talking more about this later, but for now, just click Upload. Media Encoder will automatically render your sequence and Premiere Pro will directly upload the rendered sequence to your Frame.io project where your team members or client can now review. Now, in order for us to send a collaboration link to our client, all we have to do is to select the video, click on Share, then select Share for Review. Just copy the link, now all you have to do is to send it to your client. Now say you're the client and you now have opened the collaboration link. Now you can easily create and add comments on the video by clicking on the comment box while selecting a specific time code of the video and typing your comment. You can also create annotations by clicking on this brush icon and you can also use different tools like the arrow tool, the line tool, and a rectangle tool to specify an area of the frame. You can also change the colors to your liking and now you can just press send and now your comment will be synced automatically to the project real time. You can also set the project status here to notify the team members about the current status of your project. And for now, let's set it to needs review. Now going back to Premiere Pro as an editor, we can now see the comments real time here in Premiere Pro and now you can easily make edits and revise your project. So let's try to revise your project based on the comment. You can also link the playheads by clicking on this button. And this is so we could easily navigate the comments in the Frame.io panel. Now to access the comments, just click this icon. And now let's try to revise the project based on this comment. Once you're done, you can now re-upload a new version of the project by going back to upload and do the same method that we have discussed earlier. Once you're done, you can now see a stack version of your videos. And this is definitely one of my favorite features in Frame.io. Now let's not stop there as we can go back to the review link. And as a client, you can now review the new and revised version of the project. Another great feature in Frame.io is Comparison View, and you can access it by clicking this button, then click on Comparison View. This basically gives us a view of both the first and second revised version, and this is just another convenient feature for the client to keep track of the changes in the new version. Now once you're happy with the revisions and the entire project, you can now change the project status to Approved, and you're done. 
All of these useful features are basically the reason why I use Frame.io all the time on all of my content creation projects, as it really helps me out a lot, especially if I'm working with clients, to speed up our collaborative workflow. And that wraps up our last video for Adobe's Learn From The Pro series with me. And if you made it till the end of this video, comment down below your favorite tip and make sure to drop a like in this video if you enjoyed it. I hope you guys have learned a lot from the past few videos and make sure to remember all of the editing tips and techniques that I show to you as I use these techniques all the time in my editing workflow. Again, don't forget to create more and I'll see you in the next one. Paalam!